my EP boss loves giving food we pay for to his family. This one actually happened on December. For Christmas, at the company I was doing my internship, we decided to do a small dinner at our office and we hired a restaurant to bring us the food. Basically we each had to pay for our own meal plus an extra for the delivery service. It was a fine restaurant so the cost was more or less $55 per person depending on what they ordered. Because HR equals party planning committee, I was in charge of taking the orders of all the employees, 38 people, the money and doing the order. When it was my boss's turn, the man told me some very important members of an allied company were close by and he had invited them. As guests it was obvious we couldn't charge them so he proposed the idea of collecting a little extra fee to pay for their meals and then told me what they had ordered. Well, whatever, it's just four dollars so not a big deal, right? I did another round picking our new extra fee and explaining the reason. While everyone was kind of pissed most of them just gave the money without saying much, except for one secretary who rolled her eyes while giving me the money and said something along the lines of, sure, important businessman in the most sarcastic voice you can imagine. Dinner comes, everyone is already on their sit on the impromptu banquet hall we created, except for our three mystery guests. Midway through the event, our boss wife casually appears, which is not weird per se as she comes a lot to the office when she is nearby, but it's 8pm and there is no logical reason as to why she would be in the neighborhood at that hour. My boss calls my co-worker, who was the one in charge of distributing the food, and I can see how he takes out the three extra meals, gives them to our boss who then gives them to his wife. They literally did this in front of everyone, no hiding at all. The wife then happily said goodbye to everyone, food in hand, and left the building. I am kind of flabbergasted but was able to ask my co-worker what happened with our guests and why was boss's wife taking the food with her. He explained that our boss told him the men had cancelled and that his wife had to work late meaning she hadn't prepared food for herself or their two teenage kids. Not wanting the food to go to the trash, he decided to give her the plates. The plates we paid, without even asking us. My co-worker just shrugged and said he is the boss. The secretary I mentioned before was close and saw my face, boiling with anger, and laughed it. She the told me the man pulled something like this every time there was a party, dinner, reunion, etc. It was no the first time my co-workers had paid for his family's dinner and it probably won't be the last according to her. They had just accepted it and because he always made a credible excuse it was hard to evade the thing or expose it. And there was that, no shouting, no crying, no legendary confrontation, just me sulking in the corner about my boss being a cheap DCK. Edit, hi guys, god this blew up from nowhere, thanks everyone for the prices, but let me explain some of the most common questions in the comments. Why are employees paying for a company meal? Well, the thing is, this was not an official company meal. It was more of an outside social activity between us, but because pandemic and the such, there was nowhere we could all be together except our building. Normally it would have taken place at the restaurant. And we literally had to beg this man to allow it. First mistake, I know. Why was it so expensive? I admit, this may have been an error in translation, I tried to show an equivalent between my country's money and dollars, just changing the nomenclature but keeping the value. It was expensive, but like, normal relatively fancy dinner expensive. The price also includes the drink and the delivery. Was it mandatory? No, those 38 were the ones that liked the idea. These people are really close, for being only co-workers. I am still amazed by it, especially since the boss, who thankfully I only saw like 4 times in my life, is such a douchebag. Why they paid? Well, basically, corruption, this man is the king of favoritism, do something he doesn't like or don't do something he wants, even outside of office time, and you are going to pay it sooner or later. More workload, less vacation days, somehow you will end regretting it. I hope that solves most of your questions. M let Ek run around while I'm on scaffolding, hanging 40k worth of wallpaper in their 3.5 million dollar mansion. So, 
my GF and I have a high-end wallpaper business, where we hang in the craziest houses in my city. NFL, NBA legends, those types of places. They have all been so nice and respectful. I mean, you hired me to do what only I can do. It's the everyday people with a ton of money that seem to be the most entitled. Hanging Philip Jeffries in a 9,900 square foot place and on scaffolding, hanging a ceiling while your rec runs around like a maniac isn't ideal for either myself or your kid. I have blades in my hand that sometimes drop as well as other materials that could injure him or make him sick if consumed. I've consistently mentioned this to her but falls on deaf ears so I call my GF, the og hanger that recruited me. And she shows up immediately because she especially has no tolerance for this SHT and acts as though she came to assist me. 20 minutes in and she mentions to M that he can't continue this as it is endangering everyone and M just brushes it off 2x. My GF gets down and starts packing her tools. She tells M she won't continue working and endangering us. M says she has 40k worth of paper and my girl looks at her and says she better start hanging. Was it a good job? Yes. But we are booked months out so it won't hurt us. Self-respect is more important than money ever will be. Girl. Bye. Edit, I post on Reddit but never had a response like this. Thanks guys. I just quit my job as a speech therapist four weeks ago to start this crazy endeavor and it has really paid off. I know this amount if upvote isn't a lot to many but it's the busiest post I've ever had. Stay tuned. I'm sure he'll have more. Ha ha. Entitled parent outraged at having to wait five minutes at the dentist. I will preface this by saying I've had braces for almost five years now. I am well accustomed to how my orthodontist works and the unexpected delays that can sometimes occur, which honestly makes this so much more funny for me. The story, my mum and I were waiting outside the orthodontist, Covid restrictions mean we are not allowed to wait inside the building but we can still be seen for appointments, when this lady pulls up in her car. She asks why everyone is waiting outside and we tell her it's because of Covid. She rolls her eyes and gets out the car, storming to the front of the queue to knock on the door. A lovely nurse comes out and this EP says how long is this going to take? I need to book an appointment. Nurse? Oh I'm sorry mom appointments can only be booked over the phone because of Covid. This is not a first come first served appointment basis EP, what are you talking about? I got a text telling me to come here for my son nurse, oh. Do you already have an appointment? What's his name? EP, no. I'm here to book, an, appointment. His name is Jack, fake name, nurse. Jack is already booked in for an appointment at 12.45. Please wait outside for your name to be called and we'll get to you as fast as we can. I think she meant she wanted to check her son in for the appointment. Me and my mum had no idea what was going on and we stayed quiet, until she came over to us. The conversation went as follows, EP, I've been waiting here for 5 minutes now, it's despicable. They should be operating to time. Mum, I think because of Covid they have to take extra time to clean everything which can lead to delays, I'm sure it won't be too long now, my mum and I had been waiting for about 40 minutes at this point, and if it hadn't been for the masks she definitely would have seen us laughing. Shortly after that my name was called and I went in to see my ortho. I tried to be extra polite to the nurses and we shared the unspoken I'm so sorry you had to deal with that look. It made me quite angry that someone should treat people working to help us so rudely in the middle of a pandemic, but the fact she was inevitably going to have to wait for about 45 minutes was satisfying in a small way. As I was leaving my appointment she was sat in her car waiting so I hope she didn't give the nurses too much more trouble. 